For this video we gonna talk about the importance and benefits of MFCA, also problems and enablers of MFCA. We will introduce from four aspects, namely importance of MFCA benefits of MFCA problems of MFCA enablers to MFCA. The importance of MFCA, MFCA plays an important role in coordinating material flows and eliminating sub-optimization in the supply chain from an economic and environmental perspective. The environmental sector can allay suppliers' concerns about opportunistic buyer behavior and focus on material flows throughout the supply chain. MFCA can potentially reveal material losses due to sub-optimization and provide information to avoid sub-optimization in decision-making. In addition, it underscores the importance of the environmental sector as a leader in MFCA. The benefits of MFCA, MFCA helps companies identify and quantify their non-product output material loss and increase transparency of material loss throughout the process. This allows management to identify problem areas and implement measures to improve process efficiency. Current research shows that the application of MFCA tool leads to higher productivity better energy efficiency and improved environmental performance. The ROI of MFCA implementation on SMEs increased by 29.37% and reduced material usage costs by 26.58%. This is a quiz. Can you pick the correct answer? Next, I will introduce the enablers of MFCA. The enabling factors of MFCA can often be described from the following four aspects the specific technical advantages of MFCA, the availability of data, the commitment of top management, and the compatibility of MFCA. These four aspects will be explained one by one. The specific technical advantages of MFCA as an accounting tool are the main driving force. MFCA treats waste as a non-product output or harmful product with its own cost. As a result, more accurate information on waste costs can be obtained through MFCA compared to traditional cost accounting, where waste costs are included in general overhead. These two functions allow for more transparent reporting of production costs and waste to top management, thereby influencing their execution of waste reduction activities. Since waste reduction can improve environmental quality and save costs, it is clear that MFCA can provide economic and environmental benefits. Companies may initially aim for cost savings, but by adopting MFCA, they can promote environmental benefits and reduce costs. The second point is the availability of data. Flow cost accounting is an accounting approach based on actual flows of materials. Data for material flow analysis is easily obtained. The availability of such data may eliminate the need for significant data collection tasks, thereby enabling MFCA to be easier to implement. The third driver is senior management commitment, and senior management involvement and commitment to EMA are essential in various decision-making and delegation situations. Without the direction, interest, and support of higher management, other departments may not see the importance of EMA to the organization. Without a commitment from top management, the EMA project, and therefore the MFCA project, may encounter significant challenges and obstacles. The final driver is the compatibility of MFCA with existing management systems, which complement the company's existing total production maintenance TPM and total quality management TQM systems. This makes it easier for companies to implement MFCA. There are also many problems in the implementation of MFCA, mainly involving perception challenges, lack of team cooperation performance appraisal, and lack of technical knowledge. The first problem is the perception challenge, mainly divided into two aspects. The first aspect is that MFCA is different from traditional cost accounting and other tools. Commercial enterprises are prone to misunderstanding and confusion about their concept and function. The second aspect is the traditionalist view and UNFCA's view of the relationship between environmental performance and financial performance, which differs from the traditionalist view that the primary goal of a company is the pursuit of profit. This is often because the company's economic goals are seen as conflicting with environmental goals. Expressly, the traditionalist view assumes that improvements in environmental performance will lead to declines in financial performance. Because of these perceived challenges, companies may not be motivated to start MFCA. 
For example, a company's skepticism about the outcome of an MSCA may lead a company manager to choose a new sales opportunity, rather than cut losses through an MSCA of the same value. Given this decision, they will reallocate resources for new sales opportunities, and MSCA implementation will be hindered. The second problem is the lack of team cooperation. MSCA requires cooperation across multiple departments and intra-team cooperation. Lack of team cooperation will reduce the efficiency of implementation. Without the cooperation of these sectors, it may not be easy to measure and allocate environmental costs effectively. The third question is about the performance appraisal. Since MSCA involves employees from multiple units such as environmental management, production, engineering, and costing, responsibilities and authorities must be clearly defined. Without these clear boundaries, it would be challenging to define liability if there were losses. The implementation of MSCA becomes less effective. The last problem is the lack of technical knowledge and training. Challenges that have arisen include inaccurate identification of environmental costs. This is mainly due to the different definitions and scope of environmental costs and the perception that environmental costs are unnecessary. In a study dedicated to MSCA, technical knowledge barriers to implementation in identifying material flows were identified. Difficult to identify material flow at the quantity center and receive pre-processing input from other centers. This results in loss of essential data time-consuming collection of relevant data, and loss of money spent. Quiz time. Management personnel incorporate MSCA information into management activities, which can solve the current problems faced by MSCA to some extent. This is all for our presentation, hope you can learn something from this video. If you have any questions, you can leave us a message and we will answer it for you. Thank you for listening.